Hey guys, hello and welcome to Zen Innovations and today we are on the topic of ADV screen recorder which is a pretty good screen recorder for recording screen on your Android cell phone and today in this video we are going to talk about each and every settings what do they mean and what should you keep on your phone so this video is going to take a complete look at all the settings and feature one by one so let's begin the video All right, so in the upper right corner, we have this uh, button here and from there we hit settings and we will be here in this uh, panel or the screen. And so the first but so the first setting which we can see is a three second countdown. So what happens is if you enable this setting, uh, it's going to count for three seconds and after that it starts recording. So if you need to prepare something, maybe you need to prepare an application, you need to open it. So this will help you get over there and then it will start. Uh, recording the video for you guys all right so magic button is a small floating button and in that way you will be having control uh, on this screen recorder in whichever app you are using so you can enable it here uh, now here comes some of the uh, pretty important settings so the first one is a resolution what kind of resolution uh, you would like to record and i have put it simply on screen resolution so whatever the resolution of your cell phone screen if it's full hd if it's something else if it's you know uh, 720p then it will record in that uh, format and the next part here is video bitrate so higher the bitrate generally higher the quality but setting it too high is going to put strain on the processing power of your mobile and it's going to slow it down and make it pretty laggy so uh, I choose a comfortable number so 6 mbps is pretty good for uh, uh, you can say 720p recording and 8 or 10 Mbps is going to be pretty good for uh, full HD or you can say 1080p recording. After that we have the frame rate. So higher the frame, frame rate smoother your video is going to look. And this setting is pretty important for you gamers out there. So the people who are recording PUBG or some other kind of game on their cell phone can use this setting and increase the FPS. But uh, be warned guys, uh, your phone is already running the game which is under a pretty high load and setting this figure very high could actually cause your device to become slow and maybe even overheat. So choose wisely, I am putting here uh, at 30 FPS which is pretty comfortable, pretty smooth for a variety of tasks. So that is that. Next is the video orientation and in what uh, orientation you want. Now uh, generally uh, I have kept it on auto but it would be better if you keep it on landscape because a lot of guys you know uh, your viewers on YouTube are going to be watching it something like this in a landscape format and if your uh, video ends up uh, recorded uh, you know the upright position portrait position then it's not going to look good. So keep it in landscape and just forget it about. This is the microphone setting so if you are uh, giving voiceovers uh, on your uh, uh, say if you are making a tutorial on your cell phone then of course you want your voice to be recorded along with and using this uh, option guys you can record your microphone and if you want it to be completely silent then you can just turn it off. Next part is the camera so if you want something like this kind of face cam to be appearing on your video then you can enable that thing and have a small camera to you know uh, show your face to the viewers. So here are some advanced settings of uh, this camera function and the first thing is which camera you want of course if you are going to face your uh, cell phone then we will be using the front camera camera size here is uh, let's say 125 dp so if you can make this thing large then your face is going to look larger you can make it smaller so optimize it according to your needs camera opacity i have kept it at 100 percent and here you can reduce it so this is going to make your face look a little bit transparent and uh, uh, if you have some important content like say if you are recording PUBG and in the corner if you have the HUDs or if you have your health bar somewhere and your face is going to overlay on top of it then you can make it transparent so that your viewers can uh, check out that section of the screen. So here you can adjust the transparency. All right. Next here is the output folder. So if you want uh, your videos to be saved on let's say an SD card then you can set it over there. Alright guys, that was it from Zen Innovations today. I hope you liked this video. Share it with your friends and have a nice day.